Give me a minute and let's talk about Russia losing three more planes. So today is um, February 1st, day 708 of Russia's war of aggression against the people of Ukraine. And yesterday, January 31st, there were some hits, some missile strikes all up and down Crimea. And it hasn't been clear what was hit, but we're getting information now. This is Belbek Air Force Base. And according to Russian sources, two Su-27s and an Su-30 were all destroyed or damaged beyond repair in what was probably a storm shadow or scalp missile attack on the base. We do have this video going around the internet and it's hard to see but there because it comes in so fast and this is a low frame rate. But there is a missile right there in that red. See that little shadow? That's the second missile hitting. And it's hard to tell what it is. Uh, I wouldn't even hazard a guess. The experts are saying it could be a scalp. It could be a storm shadow. It's unlikely to be uh, a ground launch small diameter bomb, which the Ukrainians are supposed to have recently acquired. Um, but they, the experts seem to think it's a storm shadow or a scalp and that it, it's the second one. And we don't have the satellite photos yet, but based on earlier satellite photos and where this uh, hit, uh, this is Belbeck Air Force Base here, it is likely that the Russian reports are correct and that two Su-27s and an Su-30 or roughly about $100 million worth of fighter planes uh, are now nothing but uh, recycling and a wisp of ozone over the Black Sea. Um, so we'll find out, we'll find out hopefully in the next 24 hours what else got hit because at least 10 missiles uh, were said to have been fired across Crimea yesterday. And so far, the details are pretty sketchy about what was hit. This is the first confirmed destruction of significant aircraft uh, in yesterday's strike.